Hello everyone and welcome to the IPP YouTube page. Today the focus will be on secure data acquisition and in particular the guidelines and regulations around 21 CFR Part 11 compliance and data integrity. Now there's a never ending amount of information available online and in the textbooks on this topic but my aim today is to give you an understanding of the fundamentals in under five minutes. So to achieve this I'm going to stage a quick fire question round and try to give you the key facts and beat that clock. But before I start my stopwatch, please hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. So, I'm going to start my stopwatch and we'll kick off with question 1. What is 21 CFR Part 11 and when was it introduced? Well, right up to the early 90s, industry relied on paper-based systems, such as your paper chart recorder right here, to manually or automatically record their process or batch records. As computers became more accessible and affordable, the move to electronic or computerized systems then took hold. In the early 90s, the life sciences industry were actively using computerized systems and requested the FDA to introduce regulations for electronic documentation, records and signatures. This led to the introduction in 1997 of the 21 CFR Part 11 regulations. The aim of these regulations were to apply controls to ensure records were authentic incorruptible and confidential. Or put simply, data recorded could not be editable and a full history of activity had to be traceable, known as the audit trail. Right, time for question two. Who does the regulation apply to? Well, the regulation applies to all medical device and drug manufacturers supplying products or services into the United States of America. This extends to research, manufacturing and distribution activities within these companies. In Europe, the equivalent is Annex 11, with some subtle differences to the 21 CFR Part 11 regs. It was first introduced in 1992, but had a major revision released in 2011. Okay, so moving swiftly on to question 3. What is the difference with data integrity? Well, data integrity has become a hot topic in the last few years. Inspections over the years since the introduction of 21 CFR Part 11 regs found that improper data management was a common problem. As a result, in 2016, the FDA introduced the new guidelines for data integrity and compliance with CGMP. These new guidelines brought the term ALCOA into view. ALCOA stands for Attributable, Legible, Contemporaneous, Original and Accurate. Attributable means that the data must clearly indicate who recorded it, who wrote the document and when. Legible means the data must be readable after it's recorded. Contemporaneous means that the data must be recorded at the time generated and date and timestamps must come in the order of execution. Original means that the data must be stored in an unaltered state. And accurate means data must reflect the action or observation made that checks are made where necessary and modifications can be explained. So we're down to the last question, question four. Where does IPP fit in all of this? Well, we at IPP have been supplying secure data acquisition to the pharmaceutical and medical device sectors for over 20 years. Yokogawa were very proactive in their drive to get paperless chart recorders to the market that fully met the FDA regulations from the start. We have hundreds of installations across multiple life science manufacturing sites offering secure binary encrypted data for both batch and continuous monitoring applications. The latest models, the SmartDAC series, which include this guy right here, offer enhanced functionality in line with the data integrity guidelines introduced. So there you have it, an overview of 21 CFR part 11 and data integrity in under five minutes. Stay tuned for our next video where we will demonstrate just how they meet these requirements. Thanks for your time.